I was really just pointing over lack of energy. You know, I, I think not having Fred in the second half, she was she got just got sick at halftime. Um, you know, I thought mm -hmm. that that affected us a little bit. We took off the press, and I think that probably affected our, our energy a little bit too. Um, really disappointed with the offensive execution and the lack of uh, scoring. I mean, just not making shots, and uh, I think that's a that's something that we really need to work on. You know, we I probably I gave him too much time off this week. We took, we had two days off plus a shooting practice, so. Really, three easy days, and uh, we didn't, um, you know, weren't able to handle it. So I, I think that was a big mistake I made. So we'll um, hopefully get it fixed tomorrow at practice, and uh, and get back to our our old self. Started off strong, no self first. Natalie came out well. Next, yeah. And then it was like 14 to yeah, I, I thought Natalie was really ready to play. I mean, she came out and just uh, just took over offensively and then she found Dev a couple of times and, and I thought Dev had a really good game too. No fouls and you know rebounded and scored and did did what she could do inside too. So I, I thought those two really well they pretty much carried us, you know, really. I, I don't think any of the other starters really played well in the first half. So um, you know that that was just just disappointing with the shooting percentage of you know overall with the team. But uh, yeah. Plenty of things to work on. Achanwa, uh, 7.7 .7 rebounds in 13 minutes. Can you talk about? Yeah, I was happy with her game today. Mm -hmm. I, I think that she really wants to take that jumper, and uh, you know, she just hadn't shot it enough. She needs to to get in the gym and, and practice a little bit more before she's um, ready to to take more of those. Um, but she definitely, I thought she rebounded well. Um, she was active around the basket, active defensively. Uh, I, I thought she did some really good things too. Yeah, I was disappointed, but you know, I I I, th I think that um, we we just we have a lot of work to do. We have a lot of bad habits, and and so I think one or two practices probably isn't going to change that. I thought that at least it would make an impression. Um, I thought there were times when we really looked like we were trying to box out, you know, and uh, and I think we got a little better in the beginning of the first half. I mean, the second half. So. You know, I just we need we need more. You know, we need more from the guards. And uh, Kay, Kayla McBride did a, a nice job on the boards, but the rest of the guards combined were bad. And uh, you know, that's that's a problem. Although Kayla Turner had five, which is way over her average. So that's actually five over her average. So that was pretty good. Kayla has um, has just a, a tremendous upside. She's got great potential. She can do a lot of things with the ball, and she just needs game experience. I think that um, she she looks um, a little unsure at times. Uh, I think she we we need to really kind of maybe run some more things for her to get her ready. I, I thought she scored around the basket off of offensive rebounds tonight, but um, otherwise she didn't really really was out of sync. I thought offensively, so. Um, I, I think she can do a lot more. I think she can have a game like this where she gets nine rebounds, um, but offensively, I think she can do a lot more. What happened on that free throw where she got knocked? Uh, was, was a, she hit her she head? Got, or? She got hit in the head and then kicked in the head. <laughs> so, yeah. Bounced back nicely, though, didn't she? <laughs> <laughs> Natalie, talk about the energy level tonight, you guys. Uh, I think I took advantage of their defense, what they were giving me, and just, you know, created an and uh, made the open shot. Was it a little tough to get all this hardware before the game, and then you kind of have well, to check out those emotions and then go yeah. out? And... It was humorous. I felt I don't know, um, <laughs> being out there um, just just for me. But um, no, it was it really didn't affect me that much. I just moved on and um, was ready for the game. I was excited to get out there and play. As a senior leader, if you sense something seems amiss, there's there's some lethargic play. How do you deal with that? You know, it's hard to. Um, it's I think it's tough to get a team ready to play. Um, we are missing Becca, and that shows sometimes in in these games. And we have to find a way um, to get the team ready. And um, as captains, you know, we're not quite doing that. Um, as well, so we're gonna have to figure out a way to do that. Coach, it seemed like the team settled for the three ball for more than one occasion, just one for twelve. Was it something that?
kind of was doing to upset the offense, or was it just not being I think settle is the perfect word. I, I think we do that all the time. We always settle for the three. Um, we, we are not shooting it well. We have not really shot it well more than one game this year, and yet we continue to settle for it. And uh, we talk about it in the huddles. We talk about it at practice. We talk about it quite a bit. But, um, you know, you, you have to be willing to drive the ball. And, um, and if you stay in the game, why should you, why should you change what you're doing if, if uh, you're not coming out of the game for it? So I think that we'll have to, um, we'll have to make some changes in the lineup. I, I think that's, that's probably one of the things we can do. Um, to encourage more driving the ball, we, we our game plan today was actually a little more high low. You know, we're really trying to look in, and uh, we settled for the three instead of throwing it in. So it's it's disappointing. It's disappointing to be a post player on this team because you just you just can't win. You know, it's uh, the guards just um, they just they have the ball in their hands. They have control. So we gotta we gotta get that control back to to play more of a team game. You guys shut down Barron tonight. She was averaging 20 points coming in. She ended up with seven. Was that a point of emphasis? Yeah, yeah. We gave her quite a few looks. I mean, she got 15 shots off, and uh, and probably 12 of them were pretty good looks. Uh, I thought we didn't even pick her up at times. I mean, the first shot of the game, she was alone on the three-point line um, to, to, you know, get it started. And, and a lot of shooters, when they make their first shot, you know, that, that right. things get rolling for them. So that was really disappointing. You have a veteran team. You're, you're talking about we're going to there's one person we really got a key on, and there she is wide open on the, almost the very first play of the game. You know, it's, it's, it kind of shows you where our focus was. Uh, I think that play was, was pretty much a microcosm of the entire game. And Deborah, it seemed like you had a great feel for the basket the whole game when you catch the ball. And you saw that looking at it. Is that something you picked up this summer? Is that something you've been de developing for a while now? Um, I think I was looking at the basket, I hope. Um, <laughs> I know I haven't really been hitting my shots so well this year, so um, we've been watching film and looking at my posture and how I'm not squaring up and little things like that. And um, We've really been practicing that a lot. So I think it started to show in the game more, and um, Nat was looking for me. People were looking for me, and I was open, so I was getting them off. You scored eight points in a row, made it 14-3, and then you didn't get many opportunities <clears throat> First half, did you feel like you were forgotten a little bit? I mean, game? points are points. That's not really important to me. I'd rather get a stop on D than score a basket. So, I mean, I don't really think about things like that too much. We have plenty of scorers. I'm not really concerned with that. I think she came out of the game, too, if for a long stretch of that. And what's your take on the rebound? Um, I know personally I don't box out, so um, I need to work on that. It's just something as a team we need to work on um, all together. And like Coach said, it's a bad habit, and it's going to take time for us to start um, to get out of it. And uh, we've been working on it a lot in practice, and we have to start transferring that work in practice to the game. Oh.